Welcome, welcome, welcome to Carnival Slayers. Welcome, 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 everyone. Join in, join in, join in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Slayers Talk. I am the host for this evening. Welcome, 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 one and all. It's a pleasure to be here. Sir Fluential, Flags Representative in the building. Make sure to follow Flags Maxman as well. And all these good things but right now we're there come on in come on in. we're gonna have a beautiful chat and the snack boss is here the preppy boss is here we are about to go like ah she rich what's going on what good going evening, on good night good night you know good night good morning <laughs> where are you tuning in from how are you Nessa Actually, preppy is in the building. Hi, my dear. How are you doing? I'm good. Tuning in from Trinidad and Tobago, of course. Um, big right. up to the Slayers team. Big up to the Candy Mask crew and the whole UK right. market out there. Which is right. Which is right. Welcome, welcome. First and foremost, how is Trinidad right now for you? How are things down there on the island right now? Trinidad is good. I mean, it's, it's a lot better now that the place has opened up a lot more. Um, but Trinidad is really good. I mean, I can't complain. This is home and I love it. We love that. We love that. We love that. So once again, big up all the Trinis tuning in, both here in the UK, down there on the island and in the Americas and wherever they are in the Caribbean diaspora. Welcome. This is Slayer Stock. We're here on the Carnival Slayer's Instagram page with the beautiful, amazing Nessa Preppy, the Preppy Boss, the Snack Boss. <laughs> Talk to us quickly about the journey since snack it's a snack because i feel like the career was already on a high and it just went since that so how has life been since that that record dropped i mean life has been good life has been been what it is i mean i'm a person i always i always prepare for certain things and well now more than ever and from mm. since it's a snack till now from all the collaborations and you know working with all these big soca artists and mm -hmm. you know my rising to the occasion it has been a very i would say a very fulfilling journey a very um it has tested me a lot as an individual as an artist as a performer i've learned so yeah. much and i think i'm now at the stage where i'm fully ready to mobilize and take things to the next level again okay Brilliant, brilliant, definitely. That is good. That's good energy to feel, especially after the recent things of the pandemic. It's been a up and down two years. So to hear artists now on the ground in the Caribbean, ready, excited, eager to get back out there and meet the fans. I can see people in the comments now saying, Come Boston, come here, come there. Well, she's coming to London before Boston, so you're gonna have to wait, Boston. Talk to uh, us about what's happening when you come to London this weekend. Let the people well, know what they expect. This then listen, I'm bringing that sunshine straight from Trinidad because you know London is a little chilly, but we're gonna heat it right up. Your girl Nessa Preppy, yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. alongside my DJ, DJ Romero, and my whole Trini team, we are, we are out there. Big up to all my Caribbean people, all the Jamaicans, Belizeans, Haitians, Vincentians, mm -hmm. Grenadians, people from St. Martin, and all over. Love to you, all from the DR and all over. Um, all anybody. Over. You know, love same way because there's a lot of islands. And there's a lot of islands. Massive. Even if you're not from the island, and you you, you mess with soca music and you love the culture, big up you same way. All my US peeps, all my Canadians, and the Bahamas, which is where I just came from. Big up to the Bahamas. Yeah, and we just see the Bahamian flag drop in there right now. So that's yeah. without a doubt. And I'm glad you mentioned you're bringing the sun because right now. We just finished up the third installment of Rain for the day. So we need Preppy. You need to bring all the sauce. Bring the <laughs> chana, bring the banner, 
bring, bring, bring the doubles. As a matter of fact, speaking of that, how you like your doubles? Because you're going to be in London, so you're probably going to have a, have a spot to go to to get some doubles before well, you fly back. How you like your doubles? I like my doubles with slight pepper. Mm. I want chana, I want the sweet sauce, I want the chutney, and I mm -hmm. definitely some pepper in there because I like it hot. Like my sister. Oh, you chana. like it hot. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. I love so you, that. Mm -hmm. Is that the energy that we can expect from you for the Candy Mass Band launch this weekend? Are you going to be bringing that sauce, that hotness? You know, what, what, what else do you have in store for us at this band launch? Well, you don't know. Um, performance, I will be out on stage. I'll be there to party and turn up with you guys and just soak up all the energy that the UK have to offer because I always have fun when I, when I come out to England. This will be my third time ever mm -hmm. in the uk and you know i appreciate the promoters big up to candy mass as i say i appreciate the promoters who make that effort to bring the caribbean artists all the way from the island straight to the uk you know it's not easy and, and like europe and when you bring the, the the soca to these places i think people that do that are really pioneers for the culture because it it it's it's one thing to go you know to the other islands because that's that's where we are we are Ahsoka community mm -hmm. of the islands, but to bring an artist all the way from the Caribbean to out there, there's a long flight. It's, a, it's like, it's a lot, but you make that extra effort and that's what I love to see. So I can't wait to touch the stage. I can't wait to hold our vibes with the UK team and, you know, big up to Candy Mass once again for having me and my peeps out there in London. Without a doubt, for sure. Have you done Nottingham you know, Carnival as yet? Yes, I have. How was that for you? When what year did you do it? That was 2019, and I would say ah. it was an experience of a lifetime. It was like probably the most people I ever saw on a road because you know in Trinidad here we're a small island, and yeah, you would for all the years you'd get used to seeing a lot of people, but London being so big, it was like. The, the amount of people that were there was crazy. I never saw that much people on the road before. So it was definitely something new. It was mm -hmm. intimidating, but it was so fun. It was like, oh my God, look at people. But it was so fun. Um, we had fun out there. That's good. That's good. So you got the, you got the last of the goodness. So coming back now this year, I'm sure you're ready. You're eager to bless the stage again, to bless the roads again. I'm not in carnival. And what is something you definitely want to do? How would you tackle the road this time in Nottingham Carnival with Candy Mass? Um, for this year? You're going to take a dive, you're going to take a jump, you're going to take a... Would, would well, you be in the crowd? If I, God's willing, touch the road for Nothing Hill this year, mm. it's going to be a movie. It's going to be an epic experience. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to make videos about it i'm gonna talk about it because you know it definitely gonna be crazy because last yeah. time it was so much fun so i know if it happened this year where people ready to go out again and people you know now get over whatever depression whatever they were going through we're just gonna let loose when we hit that street <laughs> without a doubt without a doubt and for the people that are just getting familiar or just reconnecting with nessa Preppy, how would you describe this new Nessa Preppy now? Because everybody has changed up since the pandemic. So how are you as a person? How are you as an artist now? How are you now tackling and challenging the, the scene and the industry going forward? Um, as I say, I, I used it as a learning experience. So now a lot of things that I w was not aware of about myself as an artist, as a performer, as a lyricist, as anything it has definitely um, changed and I would say evolved now more than ever. More evolved now more than ever. Like how Pokemon, Pokemon evolved. <laughs> so I have evolved. Yeah. That's good. I That's would definitely good. say I am much stronger as a person, as an artist, as a brand, as everything because more music has been released. Um, have, I have experimented with more songs than before yes. and i'm ready to really show everybody what i've been working, working on, on. I love love it. 
the music where's the music the, the music is there you know you're going to enjoy all the hits that we know already and love mm -hmm. but more music is coming soon so you know and it coming different differently <laughs> especially I, i i've definitely enjoyed the work you've been doing with private ryan and how you've really been living up and showing your they they say penmanship but for your case i'm going to see pen womanship your craftsmanship in delivering lyrics and flow and energy and something different because it's so easy for people to say oh so guy so basic so sing song you jump and wave but here you are giving us content relatable issues and still making the women feel sexy with it feel nice with it and even having the man them sing out and say you know what that's our preppy tune but it it have me it have me away still so is that something that you've purposely made an effort to go at and do you sit down with producers like private ryan and other writers to say you know what let me work and craft and change this thing or is it just all you zoned in locked in in a room by yourself well everything is definitely a plan and a structure to it i would say i strategic i strategically release i don't um i don't like just like to put out music to say i put out something and i put out something because it could confuse you as an artist and you as the public viewers you know listening exactly. where drop something drop something and you're not even focusing on the thing that you just drop you know you ain't giving it the love and the marketing and the push you so, right. uh, uh, if you release something this week you don't have to release something next two weeks you could just market this to the full extent that it could go to before you even move on to something else and this, this is something i always say is quality over quantity you know so yeah i do plays with producers and i do talk with them and 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 find out okay what what where's your head at what you, what beats you got for me what vibe you like with this and um with my team too you know we sit in the mm -hmm. studio and we vibe a lot to make sure that the product is the brand Nessa Preppy and not right. just something for doing it sake you know we love that we love that and i feel like that's that it's working it's testament to the hits have been to been dropping the collaborations are on point and 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 potent because i feel like sometimes oh, it's easy for artists just to say you know what i'm going to do a collab just for the sake of doing a collab because that's a big artist so they're on the same level as me right now whereas sometimes it might not be the right time to collab with that particular artist or so put out that tune because The great thing with music is you can make a song today 2022 and release it in 2024 and it still feel like a brand new song but you as the creative know that 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 song and vibe put on and waiting for it for two three year now so that's right. that's amazing to see so it's it's a, it's a good look it's a it's a really really good look and what are some of the, the things and ways that you you know stay creative and stay stimulated because it's so easy to just oh from what we've heard and seen that people need different vices and things in the studio so what 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 are this the stimuli for Nessa Preppy Well I like to just hold a vibe um in my own way I mean I I do like my little Hennessy and my little wine and mm -hmm. you know pink tato and different little drinks and stuff I mean that would be the initial you know you like many in the studio you would take yeah. a drink would probably take a smoke of some kind of marijuana or something but you know it's not mm -hmm. needed for mm -hmm. me personally. whether i have it or not it's fine but if we have in a good time we have in a good time and sometimes having a good time is what brings good energy what brings good vibes so for me it's not about um really relying on any vices mm -hmm. is more going in the studio whole a vibe if you happen to take a drink and that that make a spark a idea or something well good for that there we yeah. go there we go we love that we love that and who are some of the artists that you are that you are most looking forward to releasing or doing collabs with going forward now for this year can you give us any sneak peeks of anything that you've already done and just waiting to drop no sneak peeks here <laughs> No. I was hoping that I was hoping that me and Cardi was here as well. I got the extra extra juice, but the sauce can only spill so much, eh? The sauce no, can only spill I so mean, much. Um, everybody who um kind of follows me know that I have something coming with Private Ryan really soon. Mm -hmm. Another joint. Um, big, yes. 
basically collabs i don't want to give away anything i have some collabs coming that will really um like the soca world would really be happy and appreciative of what i have to bring forth with the collabs that are coming but um yeah for now i'll just give all of that private ryan a separate be coming soon no problem I'm definitely going to pro pro perform that one in the show in the uk so you right. can look there is a is actually right in the vein of the kind of music that the uk peeps like that kind of it's like almost like a drill soca ah. right so right yeah, so speaking of that as well, that, that's that's dope. That's good to hear because we have some of the UK artists here who I'm sure you may know if you may not know of who are also venturing and dibbling and dabbling in that combination, that fusion that we're seeing now. So they got Nat and Ish the Lucian twins who have released released their kind of soca drill song. And we have artists like Terra, Sun Divas, Chinny Boy Juicy, just name a few divine, you know. Just name a few artists. So it would be great to see a Nessa Prepi and a UK artist collaboration. There's so much talent here as well that who knows they might even come to the the, 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 the band launch and you know hold a vibe with you and connect and socialize and network. So I feel like the scene is growing and it's in it's, it's in a beautiful space and you know to have that combination is definitely right. Definitely, definitely right. How do you feel about soca now as a genre in the global scale of things? Do you feel like we're heading in the right direction or are we still we're still in the jump and wave, you know. No, I think so. in an in a amazing direction. I mean, uh, just like anything in life, anybody, any entity, it's not perfect, you know. Mm. It's a it's still a in my eyes, it's still a baby genre, even though it's reaching places and reaching higher heights every year. But I think it's still a, a baby genre, and a lot of people steal from us. A lot of international songs steal from us and and sample our stuff and put our stuff out there with what i would say probably i like more now that it's getting the credit that it deserves because yeah. before i've seen where people use rhythms and and beats and song patterns that are soca and you could hear it as a caribbean person and you would say hey, this song like soca this is soca but they don't know that it's soca. They just whoever produced it and it sound cool and it sound hip and they like it. But now I think I, I really like to see certain places where the music is now known. Like, yes, this is soca music. This is a Caribbean song. This is something big, you know? So I'd say it's going in a direction, but it's not perfect, just like everything else out there. Facts, facts, definitely. And I feel like you will definitely be one of the many artists spare leading the way to ensure that we preserve and protect the culture because it's so easy for it to get lost in the sauce and then in 10 years' time, you don't even recognize it as your own culture anymore. So we're trying to, to you know, do the right thing and lead out and march out in the, in the most appropriate way. Speaking of culture and carnival and soca, like, if Nessa Preppy could have a costume on the road for nothing with carnival how would that look what would be the colors what would be the design pattern let me get in our creative bag because we're we're artists after all so like, how would nessa preppy have her front line or ultra front line costume for nothing with carnival with candy mass it would definitely be something sexy of course um I would I would do a version that is really sexy, ultra sexy, and then I would also do a version that is a little less. I'm not gonna say sexy because it will be sexy same way, but more for the ladies who want to be a little more covered. Mm -hmm. I'll do something for them as well. So I would do two types of my uh, two costumes from this, and I would wear both because I would wear the ultra sexy one. But I would also wear the one that is a little more covered because if they're both coming from me, of course, in, everybody know I love to dress sexy, but I would just wear both to give that respect and that love and that range. Um, right. It would definitely be something very islandish. Mm -hmm. Very, we're looking at nice colors like turquoise and blue mm -hmm. and, and green and just make you feel like when you watch me, you're, you're seeing the island, you're seeing the, you're seeing the water and the trees. Yeah. And... <laughs> ah, I like that. I like that. No, that's good. That sounds good already. That sounds good already. I feel like Candy Mass, 
team if you're if if you're if you're if you're chewing dean or or you're or you're about to chew in now please nessa prepare have a costume ready for we for next year or probably even this year she might even give you a little a little sneak peek at this year who knows this is right this is a good look so once again if you're just tuning in now this is slayer's talk with nessa prepare i'm your host presenter slash um mc <laughs> sorry on carnival slayers i go by said you know sorry if we went to a flag somewhere in the building and we are about to have the big bad one of the reps from Candy Mass join us in as well. What's going Good on? A pleasure. Good evening. Candy um, Mass representative. Yes, representative Candy, Candy Mass. How are how are Candy Mass coming for this year, 2022? You're one of the you're, you're one of the last bands to launch for the year. But uh -huh. as I say, they say always say save the best or the biggest or the juiciest piece for last. <laughs> so what can we expect from Candy Mass for 2022? Nothing will come well. It's going to be very exciting. A lot of different stuff and then the same old stuff, you know. So also, as we said, you've got the event with um, Nessa Preppy, the brunch. So ladies, make sure you come mm -hmm. out in your shorts. Yeah, weather's meant to be good. So come out in your short shorts, fellas. You know how the thing's set. Dress up as, you know, casual how you do and stuff like that. So, yeah, so can't wait. Fellas, Team invest in the wood. Invest in the wood. You see this summer, invest in the wood. Go and get yourself a nice little wood like this. Where you can I'm not sure you know the brand because I don't want to smell like me. But right now I'm winning with the ladies. So I don't want to smell like yes, yes. Yeah. So you can yes, freshen you can up. Freshen up. Get yourself a wood. Get yourself a fresh beard. Yeah, we're good. So make yeah. Sure you can't come looking stale for 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 no 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 no, 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 things are cheap right now, especially deodorant. So, anyway, yeah, it'll be nine years on the road this year. Mm -hmm. So, the theme is deja vu, meaning we've done this before, so it's a long time coming. So, everyone's quite excited, we're excited, and um, we play Dutty Mass on Sunday and then mm -hmm. Pretty Mass on the Monday. Um, and yeah, the team's just quite excited and can't wait to get things rolling, especially this Sunday, the brunch. Uh, which is at Kenton Hall. The branch is from 2 p.m. till 8. Lovely. Um, there's food available and bottomless rum punch. So those who like your rum punch, make sure you come along. Um, good. And as I said, yes. Ah. Good. <laughs> I see a piece of glass is there. <laughs> make sure you put mine aside. I want two buckle put aside for me. And make, sure right. make sure there's no uh, orange juice in my rum punch, yeah? It's okay. just my, my make with all the orange I'm juice. I'm taking notes, okay? Yes, I'm please. taking notes. <laughs> Definitely. But so, yeah, I, think the close, <laughs> I think the closest um, station is Preston Road, and then it's like a 10 minute walk. So that's in West London, yeah? Or North West yeah. London? North West London, yeah. North West London. London. Kenton, yeah. Kenton Hall. It's mm -hmm. meant to be quite nice. So don't worry, soon you're going to have some little snippets of how the event's going to look for the day. So, yes. Um, we also, Candy Mass also, as you know, always had the international and local DJs. You know, we always had like DJ Young Chow for quite a number of years. Mm -hmm. Not sure who's on our lineup this year, but we're very excited that we've got um, Miss Carleen XP. She's joining mm -hmm. us on the road as well. So, all oh, the Booyan Army, make sure you come out to me. Goodbye. Let's I'm go. excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Quickly, before you go any further, thanks to Nessa Preppy for joining us. And giving us a strength on 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 the. Thank you, Nessa. She's just coming to say that she can't wait to see. So people, oh, make yeah, sure you follow the page, stream the new music, follow her on Tidal, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, SoundCloud, and of course follow her on Instagram, so you can keep up yeah. with the music as well as we get into the carnival because it's going to be epic. And of course, if you don't have your ticket yet for the brunch this Sunday, you need to yes. go and go to Candy Mass UK's instagram bio click the link get your ticket right now no yeah you can also purchase on candymassuk.com so for your tickets for events and tickets also for carnival packages etc so yeah candymassuk.com right 
So we're, we're speaking about the theme for Nottingham Carry. You said it's deja vu. So what kind of colors are we expecting? What kind of are we getting so ultra front line, back line, mid line, men's wear? Well, yeah, we still got some more, I think, to come. So we'll see what happens there. But what's launched so far, got some like candy mask, all it's like kind of bright colors all the time in it. So we've got some whites going. And then we've got some like blue tones, black tones. So yeah, it's it's looking quite nice. Got quite a few sections um, joining in the band. So yeah, I'm excited to see what happens and how it's going to portray. And it's been two years, guys. Two years. Exactly. 2019 was the last time really that we did kind of... Exactly. So it's well <laughs> overdue. It's well needed. And well we're looking forward to it. So everybody, you have to be in costume. Man them, you have... Well, last week was a hundred days, so you have ninety. Yeah. You, have about, you have about ninety-three to ninety. That's right. To lose some of the weight. <laughs> yeah. Get the, the waistline down. supple. I get the Ladies waistline and supple. gentlemen, no WD forty yet. Start getting exercised up. Yeah, start loosening up the limbs now. Yeah, because exactly. yeah, because it's gonna be <laughs> epic. And of course, most importantly, remember good behavior on the road. Respect on the road. We, we, we need that. Yeah. We need that. Look after yeah. each other on the road. Look after each other up. on the road. Man, yeah. Alcohol. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. A hundred percent. Without a doubt. What else can we expect from Candy Mass? How many sections did you say? Um. So far, there's one, two, three, about four, and then mm -hmm. maybe some. And I heard Nessa Preppy talking about a section too, so I'm quite intrigued. I was I was trying to set her up for a section for this year or next year. She said she she, she said if she was to create something, it would have turquoise yeah. and greens and yeah. ocean blues. And she said yeah. basically, when you see her, you're gonna feel like you're on Maracas Beach. Okay, okay. Or you're going to feel like you're in Toko Loco, you're in some enchanted, <laughs> beautiful place. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it's on the right. And yeah. it's going to be, you're going to have two variants. You're going to have the mm -hmm. real ultra preppy sexy, the real yeah. sauce, looking like mm -hmm. an extreme snack. And you're going to have, <laughs> you know, the, the modest snack, you know? Yeah. Yes. Like, you, know, you know when you get a small plate of food, that's going to be yeah. the modesty. And then when you want the, the, the grand de la grand, you get the big so the main, the, the starter main sauce and pudding, yeah, put it, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and everything. So that's how preppy was giving us and making us that. Yeah, she coming out, she coming out strong, sexy, yeah. and confident, and you know, mm -hmm. she also she also discussed about how she would be in the crowd and giving it hundred percent energy, which we love to see, and we can't wait to yeah. see her perform. But she does. She performs really well, you know. Exactly. She's around entertainer. She's for the ladies as well, you know, which is very yeah. important. It's nice when you've got for the ladies. So, yeah, I can't wait for Sunday. And there might be. I think there's a soca sweat on a Monday as well. So that's another event. As I said, if you go onto the um, CandyMassUK.com page, and um, you'll see all the events lined up, all the costumes you have available now, you know, and yeah. So that's going to be another interesting thing as well because so i think it's with silent headphones yes and also yes. doing the working out getting trim up and stuff like that so and people <laughs> don't worry if you're not what you feel is the ideal size by the time carnival come carnival is like yeah, don't worry. And you think, get the cardio up that's yeah. it don't worry about the size just get that's your cardio up. that's it that's it that's it, that's it. Can stand long okay. from. right yes and make sure you know the soca. Make sure you know the new 2022 soca, the 2021 yeah. soca, the 2020 soca, and the 2019 soca. Because we have four years of soca to play and listen. Yeah, but a lot, of, lot of catching lot up. Of so lot so you, you don't need to worry. So if if you take your time and learn the music, I see somebody just asked, "What are the dates for Nottingham Carnival?" The dates are the 27th to the 29th because we include Panorama. Which is on the on right. carnival Saturday. So the Saturday the twenty seventh, the Sunday the twenty eighth, which is the Dutty Mass, the Kiddies Carnival, and the Monday is the Pretty Mass, right? On the 29th. So make sure you book your times off accordingly and make sure you're ready. We got fit with Anja. See you there in, in the chat watching now. Candy Mass, we're on the road. We're excited. Yeah, we're, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. We're so it's like we've been done this before. Yeah. Exactly. Go on. So, will the costumes be? Will registration happen straight away as soon as the band launch finish? Will the costumes be up yeah, on the website? Yeah, you can register. You can start registering now. Start dropping in your stuff now. 
Yeah, because we already had the we had the pre um, virtual launch already. Right. So this is an additional um, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Right. So, yeah, we've we the so. so yeah, head just over there straight out. away. The link is in the bio, in their bio. Yeah. Look at the yeah. costumes, check them out, see what you yeah. like, pick it. What, Princess Bim, what are yeah. what are you most most forward to look what, what are you looking forward to the most for this year carnival? Just being on the road and seeing the vibes, the music and everyone. I've missed everyone. I've I ain't seen no one, you know. So yeah, mm -hmm. and then just it's nice to see everyone on the road enjoying themselves. That's that's what I look forward to, you know. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Me yeah. too. Me too. And what are the what are your top three songs right now that you definitely want to hear on the road? When you hear them, oh, you're gosh, gonna you be like, me just crying out. Now. You're gonna be you like, just crying out. Three songs. Like. Three songs. Oh, you put me on a spot. My mind gone blank. You know, <laughs> this is disgusting. You see, this is what I need. I need. I need a fit. <laughs> well, you have you have one coming up this. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this Sunday, so make sure you're ready. This yeah, definitely, definitely. Gonna, Sorry, my mind's gone blank right now. Oh god! Gonna gosh, check out. And uh, what you can do is you can link up Nessa Preppy's DJ and ask him for a premix to listen to before the event. Big up yeah. to DJ. I think his name is Romeo or Ramel. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it's Romeo. Romeo. Mm -hmm. Romeo. So make sure you check that out, man. It's gonna be a vibe. Yeah. That's this coming Sunday, guys. The twenty. That's the twenty ninth, isn't it? 29th of May. Mm -hmm. and it starts 2 p.m to 8 p.m and there's lots of things going on food available drink available and it's a brunch so yeah don't turn up late we're not on the late thing like we're making most of everything so if you're there at, at 10 to 2 that's fine wait outside the door as the doors open you're coming so yeah and yeah. enjoy yourself so that's what it's all about. Sure. exactly so because it's sunday you know so there's sunday traffic so can it start at 2 you have, you have to leave home 12 yeah. 30 give yourself time yeah. For yes. Room, find a place, park up, walk around. Okay, this is where it is. Do I need to get some cash from the cash machine? Because just in case them don't take card. I'm right. Boom, boom, yes. Go in. I remember, because it's a brunch, you're not for eat breakfast or lunch. Just come and you know, eat here. Wake up. There, do, your, do your fancy cardio. Have a light little, have a light little snack or something like a smart. Yeah. Prepare again, snack. Have a little snack, granola. Snack, yes, yeah. yes, snack. Maybe the, the shorts, you know, the tightest shorts. So, yeah. Exactly. Make so, sure short I'm shorts. Making, whatever making, shorts you got. Mm -hmm. Right. So, we're going to leave it there. Princess Lady okay. Candy Mask, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. For the latest hot source, news, gossip, or artist interviews, make sure that you subscribe to our Carnival Slayers YouTube channel. Then tell a friend to tell a friend.